we're at the entrance to the site here now at uh, Trout Beck Head. This is where you drive in and turn to the left and check into your pitch. Security barriers are here for entrance and exit. Visitors parking along the side here and late night arrivals on the left hand side. This is the reception building here. Uh, with the entrance barriers and to the right is one of the facilities blocks. All been refurbished in the last two or three years. Little doggy wash area here and your bikes as well. Providing a nice hose. <clears throat> And that's right alongside the beck, which chuckles its way along this side of the park. Lovely open space here at Troutbeck Head. Another section of the site here down by the beck there's another eight or ten pitches alongside the water And plenty of these uh, service points around. Yeah. Quite a large area of the site down this end. This is the far end of the site. Beyond here is the farm. Quite a busy little farm over here with uh, <laughs> there's a dog, sheep dogs here, so farmers obviously have to dog here uh, while he's off with tending the sheep somewhere. On a clear day, you can see the tops of those mountains, but uh, it's very cloudy this afternoon. It always makes me wonder how these big rocks get here. <laughs> I suppose they could have craned it in, I suppose, but uh, it's right next to the motorhome service point. Really nice modern site. It's not long been refurbished in the last two or three years. And it's got two toilet blocks. One over here just behind Sue, um, with everything in it. Toilets and showers. Nelson Point, there's, there's a laundry um, facility here, games room, and they're all in the buildings in the distance over there on the other side of this field. But this is the main field, as you can see, really good sized pitches and uh, plenty of space. There's the uh, facilities block which is nearest to us. We're just the other side here with the view of the mountains, but this side here you've got the lovely rolling hills, green hills just over here. And uh, cutting the grass down here, so we'll uh, probably come back and film this in a little while. I'll try and put the shots in sequence. But the entrance to the site is over here where there's a barrier in and out, so you've got security as well. 
nice children's play area over on the end here. And this is the second um, facilities block. There's, uh, as I say, toilets, showers, really, really high quality stuff in here. And this old building here, he was telling me, the warden was telling me this is the site of the old pub. It used to be here years ago as a games room. And uh, yeah, there's a little building with a door on it saying coroner's office, which is rather strange. It's uh, just have a quick look in the games room. There you go, there's a pool table and a uh, table football, some comfortable chairs, and the reception is just over here. There's also around the corner here uh, garages for their equipment and uh, that's where the um, river runs along that side of the campsite. So we're going to go up here to a part where they call freedom ex or experience freedom and uh, if you're wondering why you may not know they have all the lodges up here really nice this is something new for the caravan and motorhome club they're introducing these gradually to some of the prime sites and uh, they're up on the hill here now all these pictures along this road are fully serviced so uh, again really good sized pictures and you have uh, water electricity and grey waste on every pitch. Let me show you up here, there are a couple of size, different size uh, cabins. Um, I don't think all of them are occupied, it looks like there's one or two with cars. I'll take this one as an example. Pod 4, Chaffinch. And they sleep too. And as you can see, this one here, Golden Eye, yeah. is slightly different shape and size. And there's a whole road of them. Quite impressive, aren't they, Sue? Yeah. They're named after birds, aren't they? They are on this one, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, and I think. Um, what would be nice if uh, the family came up and we could stay on one of these pictures here with the motorhome and they'd be in the yeah. in the pod perhaps. Yeah. Let's go along, I think there's a doggy walk at the end of this road. As you can see it's a really big site this one but uh, we're middle of November now 2021 and the site is quite quiet. Plenty of service points with chemical waste, fresh water and grey water emptying and also uh, the bins for recycling and general waste. You can hear the, the uh, river running behind the trees there. At the far end of the site here now the opposite end to where we started and down at the end here there's a gate through to a dog walk and a footpath Looks like we go up the hill here, Sue.
just a couple hundred yards out of the site and we've got the place to ourselves walking amongst the trees and the uh, rolling hills of Cumbria beautiful colours isn't it sir? Yeah. I'm climbing uphill so it won't be many more minutes and I'll be puffing away <laughs> got another gate ahead stream that passes our campsite. That's the thing about Cumbria is uh, you never quite know what's going to be around the corner. It's very pretty and uh, we're just about finished a little flat piece and now we're climbing another hill and uh, the beauty of it just goes on and on. Now one thing's for sure about Troutbeck Head, if you're looking to walk to the shops or go for a walk in uh, the built up area at all, you'll be out of luck. It's very quiet and uh, it's a good mile to the nearest village and uh, really if you're going shopping you need to take the car out. But. Uh, <laughs> That's the whole point of us being here. <laughs> we just wanted some peace and tranquility, which is exactly what we're getting. And all we're coming across a few walkers and a few people with their dogs. We found a nice little spot here by the the uh, beck. <laughs> so he's just giving the dogs a drink. Oh, yeah. I haven't been on that long a walk, but they're not that bothered. <laughs> yeah, it's a lovely little beck along here. We're almost at the end of the walk, aren't we? It's getting dark now, so we'll wander back to the van, shall we? Yeah, it's not at all cold though. No, it's very mild, and there's yeah. just a little bit of drizzle. We just had a lovely couple of days with uh, Bob and Jenny, and Glenn and Sharon. That's the Earnshaws and the Beckwiths. And they're on pitch one and two on the service pitches here. And the lodges are just at the back of this area. The wind has dropped today, so it's really tranquil down this end. Well, on the Sunday, uh, Glyn found this lovely pub and contacted them and booked a table for us for Sunday lunch. So uh, for the four of them and their three little dogs all got into Glynn's car and we took the van. It was quite a tight lane to get there in the pub car park so with a bigger van you might struggle a little bit but uh, somebody kindly made a space for us and moved the car so that we could park there. And we had a lovely Sunday lunch and uh, also followed up that evening with a real challenge of rummy cub and uh, Jenny was the winner. I think she whitewashed us for deal. <laughs> and uh, before uh, too long, it was all over and uh, Bob and Jenny made their way to their next site, uh, shortly followed by Glyn and Sharon as well. I think Glyn and Sharon were going home because Glyn had to go back to work. So uh, it was all over far too soon. <laughs>